Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is a little bit different than my normal videos. I'll be doing a pantry tour. I've had the idea to do this for a while now, but I hesitated because I just wasn't sure if anybody would even be interested in seeing this. But I posted on YouTube and Instagram several weeks ago asking, you know, if anyone would be interested. And honestly, I was really surprised at how many people said yes. It was like 98 or 99 percent of people uh, said yes and so I figured that I'd go ahead and do this. Now my pantry is not at all Pinterest worthy. It's what some might call messy or disorganized. To me it's organized. I know where everything is uh, but you know I don't have pretty bins that all match each other and everything and I don't say that to try to throw shade at anyone. If you have a Pinterest worthy pantry uh, you know, with beautiful containers and things like that. That's awesome. I'm very happy for you. And again, not meaning to throw shade at all. Uh, but I just wanted to do a pantry for people who, you know, may not have the time or money or just interest in having a Pinterest worthy pantry. So hopefully you can find this helpful. Maybe it will help you with some pantry staple ideas or remind you of something you need to buy or remind you of something that maybe you haven't bought in a while. So let's get started with this tour. Okay, let's get started with the top shelf. Now, I bought these plastic storage bins several months ago, and I really like them. I will have them linked in my description box below. Um, the reason that I got these is because I previously had like my flour and sugar and bags on this top shelf, and I got really frustrated because I would like take one thing down and they would all just come crashing down. So I put them in the bins and it works a lot better. So I've got plain white sugar, self-rising cornmeal, all-purpose flour, brown sugar, self-rising flour, pancake mix, powdered sugar, cocoa, oats, chocolate chips, rice, and drink mix. And then up there on top is a bag of instant rice. It was in a box, but there really wasn't a way to close the box um, and it kept spilling. So I just put it in a bag. Next, I have this little plastic container. This just has um, mostly baking things in it. So I have some mini chocolate chips, mini marshmallows, regular marshmallows, pudding mix, jello mix, that sort of thing. Over here, these are just random boxes. So I have a box of Funfetti pancake mix, molten lava cakes. I saw this on um, Moss Family TV a while ago. They got these. And I was excited to find them because my husband loves lava cakes. It's his favorite dessert. So I got that fresh to try. Have a box of stuffing mix, some white cake mix, cream of wheat, which I don't love, but my husband loves it. So I have that for him. I have some of this lower sugar, maple and brown sugar, instant oatmeal, maple and brown sugar, instant oatmeal is my favorite. I have a brownie mix just to keep on hand in case I need a quick dessert for company or to take to someone a box of this uh, honey cornbread from Krusty's. This is delicious. I like to buy the Krusty's mixes at Publix when they go on sale, buy one, get one free. So the last time uh, that they went on sale, I grabbed the honey cornbread mix. And then up there is the cranberry orange muffin mix. That is so, so good. I highly recommend that. It's delicious. It's my favorite. My husband's favorite are their blueberry muffins, and their blueberry muffins are delicious too, but I like the cranberry orange. And what I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of turbinado sugar on the muffins before they go in the oven. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. You've got to try it. Then I have some vanilla wafers, some club crackers. We love club crackers, if I could talk. I have some of this Krusty's protein pancake mix. We really, really like this. I know a lot of people like the Kodiak cakes and we've tried those too and those are good, but these crusties have protein as well and are better for you, but they taste more like real pancakes, not like healthy pancakes, if that makes sense. So if you've never tried that crusties brand, I recommend that. And then of course I have some Bisquick, then some graham crackers and some ice cream cones. Okay. On this next shelf, and again, I know to a lot of people, my pantry may look completely disorganized, <laughs> but it's organized to me. I know where everything is. So over here in this container, I have some ramen noodles. This is similar to up there. All of this stuff kept falling every time I would take it out and it was frustrating me. So I just put everything in this tub. And back here I've got, I call it like my salad fixing. So I have like tortilla strips, fried onions, we've got croutons. Here's some random shredded coconut, not necessarily for salads, but, and then I have like bacon pieces and that sort of thing. 
Next, I have some pre-cooked bacon. Then right here, I've got some lard and shortening. I don't use that very often, um, but I do keep it on hand in case I wanna make like a homemade pie crust or biscuits. Have some instant grits. Next, I have several different kinds of crackers. So we have some more club crackers, some graham crackers. These I had just opened from the box. Um, and so I put them in a little Ziploc bag. Some good thins, cheddar cheese its I love these. And then up here I have a few just empty sleeves or single sleeves of crackers rather. So I've got some rich crackers. And then here I've got some nori to make some homemade sushi. I have several different kinds of tortillas. So I've got some fajita sized tortillas, some regular size, and then some burrito size. And this little container, this has, like it says, rice and beans. Um, I'm not gonna dig through here and take everything out, but there's like black eyed peas, pinto beans, different kinds of rice. I have split peas. Um, did I say pinto beans? If I didn't, there's pinto beans in there. And then I also have packets like of these Idahoan potatoes to keep on hand. I have these packages of microwavable rice. I have different kinds of that, like jasmine rice, Spanish rice, just to make like quick side dinners for, quick side dishes for dinner. And then I have a few of these nors. This is the cheddar broccoli rice. Again, just quick sides. Over here, I have some more rice. So I have some sushi rice, some basmati, and brown rice. And then above that, I just have some more of the like Idahoan packets of microwavable rice have some taco shells. Over here is my little pasta section and I just have different kinds. So I've got bow ties, fettuccine, linguine, um, more bow ties, egg noodles. I've got some spaghetti, some rotini, and then I have some uh, Zatarin's jambalaya mix. I have a couple of these. I love keeping these on hand. I get these at the Dollar Tree, but you can get the regular sizes at the regular grocery store. This is the Ranch and Bacon. Their Italian salad's also really good. I just like to keep those on hand again just for a quick side dish. And then I have some radiatory pasta. And then back here, I've got some of the like rice aroni. This is the Aldi brand. We have a couple boxes of instant macaroni and cheese. We love the cauliflower pasta. That's our favorite. I need to get stopped back up on that. And I haven't mentioned this. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but with our pantry, so my husband and I are self-employed. We own our own small business. And so our income really varies month to month. It's not like, you know, a Monday through Friday job like we used to have, you know, where you know every two weeks you get paid and how much you're gonna get paid every two weeks. Our income really fluctuates. So what I like to do is, you know, on a month where we have extra, I really try to get us stocked up, uh, not only with food from our pantry, uh, but, but with food in our uh, freezers as well. That way, if we have a month where, you know, we don't have as much income, we've got food, that's one thing that we don't have to worry about. So that's part of the reason why you'll see stock up hauls for me. Like I said, I just like to stock up when we have the extra money. That way, if we have a lighter month, you know, we don't have to worry about food. Okay, so in this little thing that's hanging, I have several different things. So I've got some instant yeast, have some Italian dressing mixes, onion soup mixes, some ranch, a hollandaise mix, turkey gravy mix, country gravy mix, brown gravy mix, all the different mixes. And I love the Velveeta pouches. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, but honestly, they're cheaper at Walmart. I'm um, at the Dollar Tree, of course, they're a dollar each. And at Walmart, um, at mine at least, you get three for, I wanna say it's like $2.97 or $2.98. So it's just a couple cents cheaper. But I love to keep them on hand to make macaroni and cheese or for casseroles. Um, they're just really great to have on hand. So I'm all out of them. I used them the other day, so I need to grab a couple more. Next, I have canned goods and things like that. So over here, we've got some kettle corn. I don't prefer this. My husband loves it. Then we have some uh, regular butter popcorn. We have some kernels to pop our own if we want. Back here, we have some popcorn seasoning. So I have some white cheddar and some of the kettle corn. And then back there, I know it's a little hard to see, but we've got mandarin oranges, applesauce, uh, some canned peaches, different, just different canned fruits. 
Here I have some capers, pizza sauce, Alfredo sauce, and then some spaghetti sauce right there. And I've also got some marshmallow cream right here. Next, I have like my canned tomatoes. So I have diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, the Aldi version of Rotel. I have some cans of tuna, some tuna pouches. And then here I try to keep basically a can of all of our favorite vegetables and beans and stuff like that on hand. And I rotate this. So if I use something, then I'll buy it. And then I also have a very small pantry with just a little bit of overstock. So, you know, like for example, if I have four cans of green beans, I'll keep two cans in that pantry and then put two here. Um, <clears throat> but to go, just to kind of show you briefly a few of these, again, just trying to give you ideas for staples. This cheddar cheese dip is my favorite. I love this. I use this on nachos. You can use this on like broccoli. It's really good. I have some enchilada sauce, different kinds of salsa. Then we've got peas, green beans. We have some Vienna sausages. My husband likes those every once in a while for snacks. Uh, canned potatoes. Um, you can, in a pinch, use the canned potatoes to do like mashed potatoes. Or what I like to do is when I make my chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie, it calls for cooked potatoes. So I'll take some of the canned potatoes and slice those up and put those in there. You can also use that to cook with green beans. It's really good. I've got black beans. Uh, like I mentioned, the green beans. Let's see what else do we have back here. We've got a small thing of cranberry sauce, some mushrooms, black olives. I don't like black olives, as I've mentioned, but my husband loves them. Got corn, carrots, refried beans, uh, pinto beans, sauerkraut. Let's see what else. Carrots, cream corn. And then I've got some hot dog chili sauce. Uh, kidney beans, if I didn't mention that, pork and beans. And then up here, we've got a couple cans of diced green chilies. And I've got cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup. Back there is tomato soup and chicken noodle soup. And then here we have, back there I've got, let me move that out of the way. I've got some panko breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs. And then I found this at the Dollar Tree, a little thing of mayonnaise. I got that to take to a, uh, with us the next time we go like camping or um, to a cabin or something. I got this queso dip from Trader Joe's. This is good. Some uh, sweet chili sauce, chow mein noodles, more olives for my husband, honey. And then we have all kinds of condiments. My husband is a big condiment person, so we keep lots on hand. Got hoisin, this Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. This is delicious if you've never had it. Uh, more honey, we've got Worcestershire sauce mayonnaise. We've got some roasted red peppers. I have some uh, light corn syrup back there. Molasses. We've got hot sauce. Uh, A1 sauce. Whoops. A1 sauce. Uh, Heinz 57 salsa. Then we've got some pancake syrup and then some real maple syrup. Then on the next shelf here in this basket, we've got all kinds of different chips. I've got Fritos, tortilla chips, etc. This is our little snack container. So we have just all different kinds of stuff down in here. We've got some cereal bars. Um, we have some kind granola bars down in there. Some peanut butter crackers, um, peanut butter cups, mini bags of pretzels. I have some banana chips and beef teriyaki. Here, these are my nut section. So I have some cashews, honey roasted peanuts, and regular peanuts. And then I have regular peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, some grape jelly. Then I have, I got this on Mark down at Kroger, um, not Kroger, Target. My husband loves horseradish, so I got some of this horseradish cream sauce. Taco ranch, and then here are more condiments. So we have teriyaki sauce, ketchup, soy sauce, uh, and then all kinds of salad dressings. Ranch, Italian, Catalina, all kinds of stuff. Back here, I've got two cans of San Marzano, San Marzano, excuse me, tomatoes. I have several packages of the peach herbal tea. I've mentioned this before, but I like to make sweet tea out of this. We have some cereal here. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my favorite. Elf cereal. Um, this is left over from Christmas, but it's still within date and it's really good. And then Lucky Charms is my husband's favorite. Okay, so down here on this last shelf, here I just have some extra like 
Ziploc bags. I have some turkey oven bags left over from Thanksgiving that I didn't use, extra aluminum foil. And then I have paper lunch bags and some straws. Here I have extra paper plates. Those don't actually go there, but I told you I didn't, <laughs> I didn't stage this. Okay, so in this little container, I have some extra cooking stuff. So I have like an extra can opener, things that you put tacos on, candy thermometer, etc. In this container, I have extra plates, paper plates, napkins, bowls. Here I have our bread. So we have our bread, some buns, and then next to it, I have this bag of condiments. When we go to restaurants and they give us extra condiments, I like to keep like the ketchup and mustard and stuff like that so that, you know, again, if we're going like to a condo or a cabin or something, we can take that with us. Here I just have extra baking stuff, so extra sugar flour, and then the turbinado sugar is down there. I have a box of cornflakes, and then down here on the floor, over here, I just put these here. I need to move them out to the garage, but we have some K-cups and then the uh, like disposable coffee cups. We don't really drink like hot chocolate and hot apple cider in the summer. It's just way too hot down here in the south with humidity. So um, I usually put these away and then I'll bring them back out in the fall. There I have some extra vegetable oil. Then I have uh, some plastic silverware cups. We have a bag of candy. This is just left over from Valentine's Day and Easter. Have a couple extra cans of ski. We got those last time we were in Kentucky. Have a big package of, um, what is that? Powdered milk, <laughs> sorry. Have a bag of the powdered milk some protein mix and then there I have some canning salt and other things for canning and then here we have a bag of uh, chips then of course we have a fire extinguisher over here in the corner I have a, a bag that we just put like leftover Walmart bags and things like that it's just hanging up on a command hook and I forgot to mention these earlier but I've got some chia seeds as well and then on the door of the pantry, I have another command hook and I have a couple aprons. So one of my friends made me this. I love it. It's really pretty. And then my husband got me this one, which I also like. And he got that on Amazon. All right. Now let me show you just a couple other things that I have in another cabinet. I just wanted to share my like spice cabinet real quick. Some people may not consider this uh, pantry items, but I mean, it's used for cooking. So I thought I would just share it really quickly. Up here in this container, I have just a random assortment of things. I've got liquid smoke, broth base. I have all my extracts some baking cups, uh, baking soda, cornstarch, etc. up there. And then I have some measuring cups and a little strainer. Then here, I just have all different kinds of spices. And I don't use these very often, so I just keep these um, up here in these blue containers. Got those at the Dollar Tree. Then on this shelf, I have some chicken bouillon. And then behind that, I have a big container of kosher salt. And then behind that, I have a container of uh, whole peppercorns. On this next shelf are all of the spices that I use. These are the ones that I use more often, so I keep these down here. And then here I just have some more assorted spices. So I have like seasoned salt, French fry seasoning. I've got some of this, salad supreme, some cavenders, tacos, uh, seasoning, salt, sea salt. I have some Tony's and ranch seasoning. Then of course I have some vegetable oil, some cooking spray. Then I have this Baker Joy's cooking spray. Next, I have some balsamic vinegar. So this, this one is from Kroger. This is just a really cheapy one. I use that if I'm doing uh, like my marinated chicken. And then here is a nicer uh, balsamic vinegar. This is really, really good. And I'm not a big vinegar fan, but we use this like on caprese salads and things like that. Have a little jar of bacon grease. I have uh, some flavored olive oil and vinegar that I got from a local store. Same place where I got that balsamic vinegar. And then I have a few other types of vinegars. So I've got apple cider, uh, white vinegar, red vinegar, and plain white, and then some coconut oil spray. All right, and then real quick, I wanna show you one other thing. Here's the last thing that I wanted to share with you. Again, to me, this is part of my pantry. This is where I keep our potatoes and our onions. This uh, 
actually belonged to my grandfather who passed away a couple years ago. And my mom and my dad uh, got this for me from his house. And so in here, I just keep sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. And then down here are onions and fresh garlic. All right, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.